What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you're new, consider subscribing. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button. Also, uh, if you know of another knife with a hollow grind made by Civivi, comment below and let me know what it is. So this video is going to be seven knives made by Civivi that come with a hollow grind on the blade. And I'm putting them in order from the smallest knife to the largest knife. And uh, there's a few I like more than others, just for personal reasons. I'll point that out when I get to those knives. And, uh, excuse me, let's jump right in with one everybody knows, the Civivi Elementum. This is a, generally a flipper-only knife. Everybody knows the Civivi Elementum, but you can easily reverse flick this knife. It, the action's so good, it's easily reverse flickable, even without a fuller. So, um, if you want to learn to do it, with a knife with no fuller, this is a good one to start with because it's super easy to do. Uh, this one was sent in by Craig for the knife cell. Uh, this one has the uh, Gia Borsha wood. And this one will also come with a set of carbon fiber scales. So, um, Elementum's a knife everyone knows about. Most people love this knife. It's a great EDC sized knife. Lightweight, not too big, not too small. Very good ergos, great action. Um, many different options to choose from out there with this knife. There's even a button lock version of this knife now. And just endless options for scales and stuff like that if you want to customize it. And uh, it's a great knife. The Civivi Elementum is the smallest knife on this list. Next is a... Well, lengthwise. This is being done by length. Keep that in mind. Uh, because this one's probably the... Next one's probably the chunkiest knife on the list. But it's second in length in the length category. So... That is the Civivi Duras. Uh, this knife was sent in to me by Craig to check out. This is not in the knife cell, by the way. This knife is discontinued now, but you can still find this knife in, uh, online. I'm not sure if any uh, regular websites have it or not, like White Mountain Knives or Blade HQ, anybody have any in stock, but you can find it on eBay and other places. Not a very expensive knife. Very chunky, man. Uh, it's shorter. It's a shorter knife, but very hand filling because of the thickness and the height of the handles. Um, get that forward finger choil, so you can choke up. You just have so much control over this blade in this grip right here. It feels so, it's just melts into your hand in this grip. Great ergos on this smaller knife, at least lengthwise. Beautiful hollow grind on the blade. All these, like I said, are gonna have a hollow grind. Nice grind lines on that blade. Personally, I'm not crazy about the orange, but there are some other colors out there. But this is actually, it's around Halloween time, so it's appropriate. Uh, you do have a G10 backspacer there with the lanyard hole going through it, which is a different, looks a little different. So they have uh, smoothed this out, so it's a nice, smooth transition. The Civivi Duras. These two are close in length here. Uh, the, actually, the Duras may be shorter in elementum, but a bit but they're pretty close <clears throat> next up is a knife that was sent in for the next knife sale by my buddy steven along with a couple other knives on this list and they will be sold in a package deal but uh in this video we're just going to go over the fact that it has a hollow grind and it's a good looking knife man i love the looks of this one uh this is the civivi uh ortis and beautiful grind lines on deep hollow grind on this knife um Nice swedge up there. Almost got a little bit of poon action. You can get your uh, finger out there and control the tip of that blade. You do have a nice choil there. You can choke up on that choil and uh, have great great control of that blade right there. It feels really good in hand right there. Pocket clip, reversible. All these have reversible pocket clips, by the way, except the Elementum. Um, I think that's just because of those scales. <clears throat> but this is a good-looking knife, too. The blue and the black just go so well together. I think the knife should have had a black blade, personally. I think it looked better with a black blade, with the black liners and the black pocket clip and black hardware. But, uh, yeah, it looks good this way, too. Very thin and sleek, very similar to the Elementum in thickness. Um, I think they're identical, actually, in thickness. So, uh, completely different look, but I love the fact that there's a hole in the blade. It does have a flipper tab, but you do have a hole there that makes reverse flicking very easy. You uh, can't really get your thumb in there because how tight it is to scale, but the reverse flick's fantastic. Flipper action's fantastic. Um, yeah, that is the Ortis. This is one I had never seen before until Steven sent it in. Thank you very much, Steven. I, I really like this one. This one's really nice, actually. And I love the look of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Comment below. Do you think it should have had a black blade? I think it should have had a black blade. 
All right, the next one, this version of it is extremely heavy. It's the heaviest knife out of all these knives, although it's nowhere near the largest knife. Um, but this one has the brass scales on it. This one will be in the next knife sale, part of that bundle package I was telling, about, telling you about. This is the Civivi Mini Asticus. Uh, this one has the brass scales, which makes this thing feel beefy as hell in hand. I mean, it feels really good in hand. So if you want a heavier knife, a beefy feeling knife, this thing feels fantastic in hand. Um, stainless steel liners, um, stainless steel pod clip. Um, I'm not going over the blade steel uh, in this video. Uh, if you want to check out the blade steel, I have videos for reviews for most of all these knives. Uh, check those out and you can get all the details on the links and weights and uh, blade steel and all that. But this one has very neutral ergos. All these knives so far have had very neutral ergos and feel very good in hand. You do have a nice sharpening choil there, but I wouldn't really call that a finger choil. Although I can get my finger in there, I'm right at that edge. So a bit, bit iffy putting your finger up there. But back here, it feels really good in hand. Um, another deep hollow grind. Beautiful grind lines. And the brass finish on this is actually looks really good. They did a great job. But this thing definitely has some heft to it. Even though they milled out the liners, um, quite a bit of heft to it, but it feels really good in hand. This feels like a uh, well-made, hard-use knife, although not the thickest blade stock, but it feels like you could hard-use this and be okay. And that is the Civivi Mini Asticus. Next up is probably my favorite knife on this list that I'd never seen before and didn't even know that this designer made a knife with Civivi until I got this knife here from Steven. And this one is in that package I was telling you about. Uh, this designer makes a knife that is on my bucket list of knives, one that I really want to get in hand and check out. If any of you out there have this knife, not this one I'm about to show you, but the knife he designed that I'm going to tell you about in a minute and would be willing to send it in to let me check it out, I would greatly appreciate it. So... This is the Civivi Hadros, Hadros or Hadros. Um, this is a Dylan Mallory design. And uh, yeah, this is probably my favorite one on the list just because of the look of it, the blade shape. There's not a flipper. I love thumb studs and I love not having a flipper. You can get this entire edge down, nothing in your way to get down there and chop. You get great tip action going on there. You get all kinds of tip action with this knife. And you got a pretty deep hollow grind all the way out to the tip. So the tip is, you would want to be a little careful, I would think, with this tip, but it's not too, too terribly thin. Um, very thin and sleek. You put this thing in your pocket, it just fit, fits right in there, feels great. With, I mean, this slips right in, rides in your pocket extremely well. Action is fantastic. Um, milled out liners, super lightweight for such a long knife. And with it being this thin right here, when you grip this knife, it, you have to raise, it raises your palm up a little bit because it's so thin to grab it. The, po the pocket clip vanishes in your hand. Um, this is a great knife. Um, Mallory makes some really good looking knives, man. Um, pretty impressive, actually. And uh, one of these days, eventually, I am going to get a Forest in hand. Um, I know he's about to do a Forest 2 that's coming out in the near future, but I'd still really, really want to check out the original Forest also, which I think there were only 200 of them made, if I remember correctly. It's just a good-looking knife, man, and this is a good-looking knife. Next up, this one is, this will be in the knife cell also. Everything in this video will be in the knife cell except for this knife. This knife will not be. Uh, this one is not part of the package, though, neither, neither was the Elementum. This is the Civivi Backlash, and this is the knife I was telling you about that it gives me those vibes. If you look at the blade, I don't know, it's a little different, but for some reason, with the finger choil, the way it's done and everything, uh, this one has the jimping up here, this one does not. It gave me a Backlash, this gave me Backlash vibes, but they're actually quite different knives. This is a big knife, and for how big it is, it's very lightweight fantastic ergonomics on the backlash i have a couple of these i have uh the this one with black and the damascus then i have a blue one with not in damascus blue g10 with not in damascus fantastic action on these knives just buttery smooth both of them are great they will both be in the next knife cell yeah. you can reverse flick it all day with no fuller easily um the ergos with that jimping right there and that 
that uh, finger toil, uh, it's just boom. that's the money spot. It feels so good in your hand right there. This is a uh, yeah, it's so good in your hand. Deep carry clip. All these knives have deep carry clips. All of them are reversible except the elementum. Actually, I don't think this one. Yeah, that one is too. Yeah, only one that isn't is the elementum. But that's just a good looking knife. The shape of this knife kind of got like a harpoon shape to the blade. Um, looks really good. Yeah, lightweight for its size. I'm a big fan of the Backlash. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Praxis here also. I had a Praxis in the last last knife sale. Somebody purchased it, so it's no longer here. But uh, yeah, buttery smooth action. The uh, These are the uh, knives. I used two Backlashes to do my testing on knife lubricants. I've got a series uh, testing knife lubricant. These are This is one of the knives that was used for that testing. Um, buttery smooth action. Great knife. Easily reverse flickable without a fuller, by the way. All right. Now, last on the list is going to be somebody's big brother or big sister, depending on how you look at it. And that is going to be the Civivi Asticus. Not the mini Asticus. This is the big Asticus or the regular Asticus. Now, this is a big Asticus, actually. Um, look at that thing. Look at that hollow grind, man. Deep, deep, deep hollow grind. Here's the regular Asticus. Here's the, the big Astic. Or here's the mini Asticus. Here's the regular Asticus. Quite a bit of difference there, right? Um, I'd be interested to fill the mini without the brass, how lightweight it is, because this knife is extremely lightweight for its size. Very thin overall. Um, fantastic ergonomics. With, keep in mind, I have a medium-sized hand with all these guys. When I choke up this finger twirl, I got almost two inches sticking out the back there. This is a big knife. Um, I would, I could see people using these knives. Most of these, all these with the belly, um, you could use these for skinning, all kinds of things, man. That's what I, this is what I thought this one may be for, that kind of thing with the orange. It kind of gives me that hunter orange. Honestly, with that belly and that hollow grind, it'd probably be a great skinner knife. Um, but yeah, these are, uh, this one is enormous. I don't know the exact measurements on this at the moment, but yeah, big knife, flipper only. Um, I, I cannot reverse flick these. I don't have enough blade there and there's a swedge on the top of the blade to, uh, get my finger in there to reverse flick them. But yeah, the flipper action, fantastic, excellent detent, um, all these knives have an excellent detent. But this is a big, big, big knife. But this knife is under four ounces. I can tell you that much for sure. It's under four ounces and it's that long. This is a big knife and it's extremely lightweight. Um, now, out of all these knives, which is my favorite? What are my favorites? Well, before uh, getting this in hand, uh, out of all these, the, this was one of my favorite knives, the Backlash. It's just a great, great all-around knife. Uh, and I've had this in hand. I love this thing, man. I really love this uh, Hadros or ha Hadros. And I really like the Ortis also. Um, I'm not a big fan of the flipper only knives, you know. That's just not my thing. And the one I, the, why I like this the most, it has no flipper. All the other, all the rest of these have flippers. Although you got to hold the deployment with, some, with one. Thumb studs, well, it doesn't have a flipper. It's just thumb studs. But yeah, this is the one I, I like the most for sure. I'm not a flipper guy. I don't like the way it carries in the pocket as much as a non-flipper, and I don't like the way it cuts as much as a non-flipper. I'm a big non, big advocate of non-flipper knives. So, yeah, out of all the, all seven, the Hadros Hadros is my favorite. And uh, I, if anybody out there has a force, they'd be willing to send into the channel. Let me check out. I would greatly appreciate it. Let me slide these down so they're actually on camera. You can actually do a size comparison with all of them. How long have they been off camera? Quite some time, I think. There we go. So, the Elementum, the Duras, the Ortus, the Miniasticus, the Hadros, the Backlash, and the Asticus, full-size Asticus. So, all seven Sabivi knives with hollow grinds, and all these are great knives. Um, if you like flipper knives, then any of these flippers would be fantastic for you. If you like thumb stud action, this is amazing. Um, if you like hole action, I like hole action personally. That that knife's amazing. Um, if you want a knife that you can reverse flick without a fuller, that's easy to do. This is probably one of the easiest ones ever. Um, 
because you get plenty of room to get your finger on there. Um, it's very simple. Um, so good. If I were to keep this knife, I'd probably cut the flipper off. Just do a flipper delete and just use the reverse flick. Um, you can also do that very easily with this knife, I believe it was. No, no. The Elementum. The Elementum is very easy to reverse flick, even though it doesn't have a fuller. Great action, great detent. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Comment below uh, if you know of any other Civivi knives that have a hollow grind that you really like. And uh, let me know. If you own any of these, what do you think about them? And if there's something I should check out, comment below and let me know what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.